Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to work on an image of some white objects on a white background using your digital SLR camera and our clamp lamp system of lighting. Let's take a look at our lighting first. So this is what we're using for our light source. A simple clamp lamp bought at any hardware store for a few dollars. A frosted household bulb, 75 watts and we'll be bouncing this off of a white card and it will be the only source of light that we'll be using. Very simple, very inexpensive, and very effective. So let's move on to our set. I've selected four white milk glass vases as a subject. Placed on a white foam core board with our clamp lamp bouncing off another white foam core board backlighting the objects. Our camera's high shooting down into the necks of the vases. Let's take a look at our camera settings. For today's shot, we're going to use the camera on manual, which means we set the f-stop and the aperture. So turn your dial to M, which puts your camera in the manual mode. So now we need to manually set the camera. With the clamp lamp on, we're going to open the aperture as wide as it will go. 5.6. Still the cursor is way underexposed, so we slow the speeds down until that cursor comes across to the middle point indicating a proper exposure. And as we can see that's one quarter of a second at 5.6. Let's look at our lens settings. We have our stabilizer on off and our camera on manual focus. We have a 17 to 85 millimeter zoom lens and we're using it all the way to the 85 millimeter end. Let's shoot one here. The focus is on the closest object to the camera. Let's try one with the focus on the object that is furthest from the camera. That's much better. Now your eye is drawn into the shot. Let's take a look at these two shots together. In the shot on the left, the foreground object is in focus, which stops your eye right in the front. In the shot on the right, the background object is in focus, which draws you into the shot. A much better solution. I think we're overall a bit dark, so let's fix that problem. With the f-stop, as wide open as it will go, we'll add more light by slowing down the shutter speed. Two clicks to the plus side gives us four tenths of a second, a two thirds of a stop difference. So we've set the camera two clicks to the right, brightening the shot. So sometimes you don't want to shoot at exactly what your exposure meter says. Let's take an exposure. In this case, brighter is better, making it a cleaner shot and showing more translucency in the glass. Although it's overall brighter, it's still a bit dark in the foreground. So let's fix that. I'm going to go in and put a large white fill card right underneath the camera in the front, bouncing light back into the front of the objects. Let's shoot one here. Well, that did not work well. It completely flattened out the shot. Let's try something different. Let's take the fill card around to the left side and not have one in the front at all. So I'm going to take that front card away completely and use it as a side card. Towards the front edge of the set, bouncing light in to fill in shadows on our objects. Let's take our next exposure. That's working. Let's do the same thing to the right side of the set. So we take another white card the same size and move into the right side of the set, mirroring the card on the left. Let's make an exposure here.
Now we're getting there. We have brightened it up, but it maintains some nice detail. Let's take a look at this shot and our shot with just the front fill together. Our shot on the left with the front fill card is flat and without detail, as our shot on the right with the side fill cards maintains much better detail. Let's add one more card. I'm going to go back and add a front fill card, but it will be much smaller and lower down so it will bounce less light in. So we'll maintain detail and make our shot a bit whiter. And here's our final shot. Using one clamp lamp and three fill cards, we've created quite an elegant white on white still life. And remember, with our camera on manual, we overexposed the shot by two thirds of a stop. So try shooting an image like this just using one light and two or three fill cards. We hope you like this video on shooting white objects on a white background and can see that just using a single clamp lamp light on a stand is quite effective and affordable. And your DSLR camera on a manual mode gives you a little bit more control. So look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.